Rolf calls Nay's name once again, but his plaintive cry mean merely echoes and re-echoes. The weather control system is shaking terrifically. Now Nay first is dead. There is no one controlling it. All of the pent-up energy is pouring into the system. And apparently expo uh, drained all the ocean. Because that makes sense, right? Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. I could dig out Metroid music, though. Be no point. <laughs> there we go. The ocean's back. The ocean's back, and... Now things have actually gotten really worse. What has happened? Rolf and the others quickly decide to return to Paseo. Oh, thank God. Okay, first things first, we gotta bring back Nate. Obviously. Welcome to the Clone Labs. Who would you like to have returned to you? Oh, uh, the, the one called Nay. I'm sorry, but we really aren't able to return people who aren't human. It doesn't work. Wait a minute! Alright, I'm sorry, but this deserves a rant. In most of our videos, who's been the person that died? Nay. This makes no sense, Sega! S suddenly plot. Plot convenience does not work here! So yes, it's a permanent death, boys and girls! Fantasy Star did it first! Unlike Eris Gaines Brow, Fantasy Star did it first. But in the stupidest way possible! Ah. <sighs> Okay, I'm good now. I'm, I'm good. I, I, I think I'm good. What, what, do, you, do I look good, Alex? You look, you're good. Right, okay. Just to bump Paseo is a plateau. Why not put her to rest up there? Don't be sad. Everyone must die sometime. I just cloned them for the sake of cloning. <laughs> Your friend led a full life. What do we say, Mr. Joker? <laughs> Pretty much, Miss Joker. It's Joker's mom. Alright, so... Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's a craptastic response. But yes, Nay is permanently dead. Something's wrong. Oh my gosh! The lake is overflowing! This has been an accident the climate control! We didn't do it. All of the rain supply has flowed into the lake. Mota's going to flood. Run for your lives! It's a catastrophe! Rolf, once again, there's a serious problem. Just when we were feeling relieved that those monsters had been taken care of, this happened! We can avoid the worst case if the dams could be opened, but there's no control. Someone must go there and open them. Well, that somebody must be us. Please, let me do it. Well, but... I'm sorry to say this, but the government of Palma has announced your name as the ones who made the mother brain go crazy. Right now, the security system is desperately trying to catch you guys. It is too dangerous to do anything that stands out. But even if we stay inside and hold our breath, they will find us sooner or later. I'd rather go and open those dams. I want to find out who's trying to destroy Mota. I see. I see. I won't say any more. Take care of yourselves. So now we've got our new objective. We need to save the impending catastrophe, but we've been labeled public enemy number one. How did this happen? And kind of for good reason, technically. I mean, we have been messing around with the mother brain. Mm. All right. But in the meantime, we actually have an open character spot to fill. Oh, hope at last, time to relax, even though an impending flood is coming. Exactly, it's time to relax. <laughs> and, and the fact that we're public enemy number one in the house is the first place anyone's gonna look. <laughs> Alright, so, you no, know we're gonna change things up. This will be a difficult journey. Pick your companions wisely. We're gonna reorganize. Amy and Rudo are still gonna have a spot. However, we're going to, since we're gonna be dealing with a lot of security forces, mm -hmm. and therefore mechanical... We're now going to be bringing in Kane, because he is best against mechanical enemies. Now, here's the downside. I don't need to say it, but Kane's level one. So there's not much of an advantage for us. So, in the meantime, uh, we are going to need to take a grinding break to get Kane up so that we can continue on, and then I get to make a bunch of robot jokes, because holy crap, even when Alex has some anime reference, he's going to laugh at some of the enemies that we're going to fight. Mm -hmm. Everybody, we're back. We're fighting at Fantasy Star 2. I just barely got out of the hospital, because my brain snapped a vein there, because of the sheer stupidity that we just barely saw. I don't know who I am anymore. Yeah, I think I've forgotten too. Oh, you forgot? 
<laughs> we wanted to forget. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we're back from the really bad lapse in logic with May. Welcome to the teleport station. Well, would you like to teleport? Mm -hmm. We would like to teleport to the town of Piata, I think? It'll cost 60 Mazesta sugar. Wow. I'm sorry, but I just picture her. Uh, no, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but yeah. So, uh, yes, so we got the whole prospect, uh, the whole prospect with Nay done. If you guys didn't like it either, please stand on your head. Um, but no. as you guys can see, we have a new party member. It is Kane, and he is level 16 right now. So he is good to go. And we're just going to go ahead and get right into it, guys, because the next thing that we have to go do... And I keep forgetting where I have to step to get there is just to kind of give a recap of the story. So the world is flooding, Alex. Mm -hmm. We did this because we went into Climatrol. Huh. So now we have to stop the world from flooding. Nice job breaking it, hero. Yeah, exactly. And in the meantime, we're also public enemy number one. So the robots are all out to get us. There are no longer bio monsters on the map. It's all ro It's all robots. Robots. Indeed. So in the meantime, we have to go close up the dam so that we can stop the Climatrol from flooding the world. Because that's the way it works, right guys? Absolutely. And in the meantime, now we gotta go over to a control tower because we can't gain access to the dams. We actually need key cards to do that. So, let's see, I actually need to make sure I go the right one. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I went to the right tower, because if you don't go to the right tower, it's a pain in the butt. So now that we are in the control tower, we can go and get the card keys that we need. Alright, so, we're gonna go up and left. And so from here on in, Alex, you're not gonna be noticing many bio monsters. Just it's a lot of robots, like you said. Yeah, they're gonna be all robots, and in fact, since we both are anime fans, you will probably appreciate some of the things that we're about to see. Mm -hmm. Just saying. All right, now should be up down. Okay. Oh my gosh! More robots. Yeah, Muscle like Man and Masagama. Masagama. Or just Masagama. If you guys can say the names, please stand on your head. Now, Kane uh, is also equipped with laser or laser rifle, just like Rudo, but unfortunately he doesn't hit as hard as Rudo. He's close, though, so it doesn't really it doesn't matter too much. Later on in, in our taking part of Kane, he will get better, and he will get better for one particular reason. He will go from being able to hit one enemy to hitting all of them. Right. Which will be very helpful, given how many enemies we get on screen. Alright, so we go down here, all the way left, ah, oh my gosh, I think we just, did we do a circle or something? I hope we didn't, but it looks like we did. <laughs> I'm really hoping that we didn't do a circle because as you guys, as you can plainly see, Alex, these things hit hard. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Now the game is no longer messing around. If it was messing around to begin with. And we only have three that can actually take the punishment. And Amy's not one of them. Don't that one. Amy's gonna get her butt kicked every now and then. In fact, from here on in, leveling Amy is incredibly difficult. And what yes, I think we did, we did leave a little bit. What is it with RPGs and always making the healers your glass cannon? If anything, you think. If anything, you think you're beat. You're. Oh. I can remember back in the day. Back in the day, uh, when uh, your healers were your clerics, mm -hmm. and they were armored sobs. Now, now, the clerics that I know of back in the day are paladins. That's that's how weird it's gotten. Now clerics are like priests, just regular run-of-the-mill priests. Mm -hmm. 
it just seems like if any logic would dictate that your character who hits the hardest would actually be your most nimble. It's sort of a it's sort of a counterbalances because they hit so hard, and that your that your healer would be the most beefed up and most defensive and take the most damage. And now dead. But no, for some reason RPGs today continue to do this trend of the healer is always the weakest member of your party. Oh, dude, no, no, no. See, here's the thing. This isn't the worst of it because there are actual games where there's enough logic in the AI that they know that the healer's the weakest, and therefore will target the weakest link in the chain. Mm. That's absolutely stupid. Alright, so... Oh, okay. This can't be used here. I always forget which one's which. Ines! We gotta get back out here and go heal. Well, at least we don't have to traverse across a field. No, we don't. If we did, then I'd probably be using Ryuko right now. Yay! This is just so awesome, isn't it, Alex? Mm. Going back to resurrect our... Oh, wait. It's like Pokemon, Are we gonna be able to do team. that? Are we gonna be able to? Or is she gonna be out of copies, too? We're not still better over that, are we? <laughs> no. No, no. I'm sorry, Sega. It was a stupid explanation. Because I, I really wished I would have kept a tally on how many times May died. Because then I could say, oh, so you were able to resurrect her these 20 bajillion times. You just couldn't do it this one time. Because plot says so. Because plot, because video games. Really? Okay. Hey there, my help you. Goodbye. I'm sorry, but he's creepy grandpa from anime. <laughs> it just makes me think of Jedi more than that. It, yeah, exa that's exactly it. He's Jedi. So I always tried to do the Jedi voice. The Jedi voice would be or, or give the Jedi excuse. The reason I couldn't contact you for so many years was I hadn't paid the phone bill. <laughs> oh, that dumb. <laughs> I, it's so dumb that it has received its own definition. Yes. The Jedi excuse. This is why I couldn't help you, because of uh, stupid reason here. I, still, right. I think the Jedi voice would be perfect for the old man in Chrono Trigger as well as Melchior. Oh, you mean, uh... Are you talking about, uh, Gaspar? Yeah. Or Dude at the End of Time? Mm -hmm. The one that you have to wake up every time you talk to? Yes. I, yes. If I ever get to make a Chrono Trigger anime, hopefully I will, I will totally get him to and play. And every time you talk to him, he's sleeping. <laughs> so you have to pop a bubble. In yeah. fact, I would love to see a joke where, like, either Frog or, or, or Magus go up and take a pin and just pop. <laughs> oh, he's awake now! Because the bubble was the only thing keeping him asleep. Because that makes sense, right? Right. Oh, more Mazgamas. <laughs> The one thing that I will give credit to the robots is, if you notice, we weren't getting a whole lot of experience off of bio monsters. Mm -hmm. But these things are paying up a lot. These are paying off. And it's mainly because, at this point, is when you need to do a lot of level grinding. Why? Endgame... Now, remember back in Fantasy Star, Alex, we were like 20 right. when we beat that, right? This thing actually makes you get up to about almost 40. And so, at that point, the difficulty curve ups so that you can become that. Uh, I see. And so that'll be nice. Alright, so this is the shoots that I need to watch for, but I need to go all the way to the wall. So Not run shoot. into more robots. Wireface. Wireface. Oh. And I always gotta laugh at this model because, you know, I'm a StarCraft fan and it looks so close to the artificial intelligence that the Terrans have. So I'm like... Oh no, they're gonna start complaining to me about supply depots! RUN! Not enough supply depots. Not enough thespian gas. Not enough minerals. Yeah, StarCraft fans know what I'm talking about. We get annoyed with hearing that after a while. But they have the minerals! They're just being harvested! Okay, so we gotta go all the way to the wall, and now car we gotta count this out. So the fourth from the right, we gotta take. Yay! Now we gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. 
I said, we gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Ah! And now we have informers! That look like R2-D2 if he had arms. <laughs> oh, just wait till we get outside, Alex. Th then you get to deal with the Robotech jokes. Nice. Yes, there's actually a police bot in out in the world that looks like it's just out right out of Robotech. Or insert giant robot anime here. In fact, I... And people might need to double-check this, but I think it's a clear rip-off of, uh... Pat Labore Mobile Police. Like, good job, Sega. You patently rip it, ripped off an anime. So not only were you ripping off anime tropes, you were ripping off just straight anime. Because that makes sense, right? Absolutely. Okay, so down to the chute we go. Now we get to go right into the chute. Isn't this just all so fun? Shoots and ladders, but we're all the ladders. Pretty much. We go right again into the next shoot. Oh, now we can go up and then right. And then down. And then down to the next shoot. At least this is a simple dungeon, right? Right. Okay, so take the shoot to the right. Okay, now we can go on to the next one. We're just making so much progress, aren't we? Okay, so now we can go right around the pit and up to the middle. And I think this is where we can get the keys. Maybe. Here's a keyboard. Oh, here's some music too. Shall I touch it? Yes. Yay! Oh wait, hold on. <sighs> it's one of these douche traps, isn't it? Actually, what I'm afraid of is that I needed to to get something before then. I don't think I did, but I might be wrong. Oh, yes, I did. Crap! Okay, so... Drac forgot something. Again. What I forgot was is that apparently Rolf does not know how to play the piano. Right now, you can't see it on camera, but uh, Alex is seriously facepalming. Yes. Yep. It's these tiny little details of Fantasy Star 2 that kind of drive me nuts. So, we gotta go teleport over to Okuta. Welcome to the teleport station. It'll cost you 60 to 7. And she looks like an anime princess, I'm sorry, but she totally does. I think she'd have the Osakan southern accent type. Uh, something like that. Let's see. Oh, they have. Um, is it the armor store? Or is it the weapon store? Ah, oh, it's the weapon store. Okay. But the Kansai dialect. Okay. I think all I have to do is hug the trees. Crap! Dang it! one of the things that actually irritates me with Fantasy Star 2 is that you can get easily very lost. I can see that. And you can have these secret village moments where you're just like, okay, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, so I'm like taking one step at a time. Okay, cool. I am Ustavestia, a musician. Do you want to hear me play? Yes. Great, pick a song! Fantasy. He's kind of your music dictionary. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I'm kind of busy right now. I've got to go! <laughs> well, thanks. You were really helpful. He was, indeed. But we're going to go back and talk to him and say, No! Oh, I get it. You want to learn to play the piano? Yes. Am I a great musician or what? Yeah, yes. sure. Who's going to learn? Rolf, obviously. Hey, he looks smart! I'll give lessons for 2,000 Mazasta! Well, that's fairly cheap considering what we have. <laughs> So let's do it. Okay, I'll start the lessons. Wow, we sound bad. <laughs> now you are a musical artist. Come again. Rolf has learned the music technique. Okay, because they couldn't actually say music. Apparently music is copyrighted. <laughs> so it has to be music with a K. Sorry, but that only worked for Midway with Mortal Kombat. Sorry. Now that we have the music technique... 
we can go back and actually get the card keys that we need. Alright. Yata. This, this is one up. of those moments where Drac just feels oh so smart. I am so smart. Heal up first. Ah, uh, that's true. Yeah, we don't want to have to go through all that crap again. And for some reason, he can give me brain food, which will help my technique points. Oh, look! It's a little boy sprite! <laughs> that's something that's new. I actually did not notice that when I played through this first time. <laughs> I'm even getting surprised by stuff that happens. Alright, so now we get to go over here to the hidden part of the village and go do the control tower again. Because I am also smart, right? Absolutely. Yay! So while we're making our way, I have a quick question for you, Alex, that people might be asking of us. <laughs> So, give a frame of reference. The consoles are out. PS4 and Xbox One. But we've also been hearing about a lot of problems with the consoles. Right. Are you kind of glad you haven't bought one? Yes, I'm really glad. So that you didn't buy a $500 paperweight? Mm -hmm. I gotta say, like, I was trying to figure this out with, uh, with my brother. You know, because we've been around for a couple of video game generations. We were like, has this ever happened in any of the previous gen generations? And we didn't come up with anything. Do you remember anything in a previous generation where they had these problems? Only thing I can think of is Sega's really ill-thought-out attempts of, like, the 32X and the unsuccessful attempt at making the Neptune and the C. Well, yeah, because the 32X actually could break your Genesis technically. But so could the Sega CD. Well, uh, you're just talking technical problems. Yeah, launches. I'm talking like technical problems. Like, at a launch, your system had technical issues. And lots of them. Only thing I can think of, and I don't know how widespread this problem was, was Red Ring of Death with a lot of early Xbox 360s. Well, but that wasn't even at launch. That, that came in later. Sure, because, sure. Or at least the complaints that we started seeing in the media were, um, were what, six months into the launch? Then yeah. we started seeing Red Ring of Death problems? Yeah. So, yeah, not, I don't think anything, like, right at the, not at the launch period. Not, like, faulty disk drives or anything like that. Right, yeah. And this... they're happening all over the place with this launch. Yeah, I, it's, I mean, the Wii... It's like, the Wii U seems to be spared some of the problems. The only reason the Wii U's not doing well is because Nintendo hasn't done a very good job at marketing. Yeah, well, the, the problem is is that they haven't, you know, they promised third-party support all over the place, and they have not delivered to this day mm -hmm. uh, of giving us the third-party support. Oops, sorry. Which, I'm kind of surprised at. I, I really wanted to hear about some third-party support at E3 this year, and it didn't happen. Yeah. Nintendo's just... You know, I think, frankly, I don't know, it feels like this generation is being rushed out the door Pretty for much. no real reason. It looks like the companies are just looking to get a quick buck, and they didn't even get that this time around. You know, like, I've only heard Sony's getting, like, a, barely a profit off of the PS4. And I, I don't even know if the Xbox One is getting a profit right now, but I would hope. I think there's... I think it's been I think it's, I don't know, I heard it's been doing well. It's like over a million units sold or so then. I don't know. Quite. Yeah, they're both at a million. Uh, what was it? Um, the PS4 was at a million units. I think in the US alone, last number I saw. And then the Xbox One was a million units worldwide. Mm -hmm. Which was kind of surprising. Especially since Japan has major Microsoft hatred. Uh, the other thing that was also kind of surprising to me, Alex, is that, have you been seeing all the streaming issues that have been happening with the new consoles? No. Oh man, Twitch has gone nuts. They have banned uh, actual Twitch accounts because people, I don't know if you've heard about this, uh, but I think it was on IGN, where I, Twitch actually had to ban an account because some dude got drunk, or his wife got drunk on the couch, mm -hmm. and it was streaming. And so he decided to give, well, his fans a little bit of a peep show and got banned. 